Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? We have breaking news coming out of Afghanistan. The Taliban, of course, took a hotel in Kabul. Afghan forces, though, have ended this deadly Taliban siege at a hotel in Kabul. Matter of fact, security forces said Sunday today that they killed at least six Taliban militants to end the overnight siege that had been going on at Cabal's International Intercontinental excuse me, Hotel that left at least 18 people dead, including 14 foreigners. Some of the 150 guests fled the gun battle and fire sparked by the assault by shimmer, shimmying down the, as from bed sheets from the upper floors. An unbelievable scene. The militants who wore suicide vests pinned security forces down for more than 13 hours after the attack began at 9 p.m. Saturday night. We were watching this closely, but the gunmen roamed the hallways and targeted foreigners and Afghani officials inside the luxury Hilltop Hotel. More than 150 people who were rescued or managed to escape, including 41 foreigners, said the Interior Ministry spokesman. Ten people were injured, including six security forces. Eleven of the 14 foreigners killed were employees of a private Afghanistan airline from, uh, that were Danish. Okay, Cam Air put out a statement saying some of its flights were disrupted because of this attack. Now, six of those killed were Ukrainian, said the Ukrainian foreign ministers who added that his office was working with the Afghanistan law enforcement agencies to clarify the circumstances of this terrorist t- attack. Two Venezuelan pilots from Cam Air were also among the dead, according to other reports. Okay, a citizen from Kayakistan was also among the dead at the hotel. And Afghan security officials confirmed that 34 pro- provisional officials were at the hotel for a conference organized by telecommunication ministry. Now, Afghan officials said that also among the dead was a telecommunication official uh, and others from different parts of Afghanistan. So the Taliban took full responsibility, come in there blazing suicide vests and hollering Allah Akbar as they uh, killed eight. 18 people are dead, including 14 of them foreigners. A horrific scene in the capital city of Afghanistan. Are you serious? The siege is finally over. The carnage is done. Pray for these people. Pray for the families of the victims. Pray for those that are injured. And understand that we live in a very, very vicious, violent world filled with the evil demon spirits from hell itself. We're in the last days, the days of chaos. Christ is coming. Are you ready to meet him? Don't. Whatever you do, don't be left behind. Don't be left behind. Are you saved? Don't miss today's live broadcast tonight. Starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. Sunday night live at 7 p.m. Eastern at my website at www.publiclyprophecy.com. Everywhere else, including this YouTube channel.